in this lecture we are going to learn about convex hull okay so first we will see the definition of convex hull then we will try to solve this problem using gram scan algorithm and then we will try to find its time complexity okay so these are the three things that we will do so first is definition then the gram scan algorithm okay and then finally the time complexity of that algorithm okay so gram i don't know the spelling spelling is correct so convex hull definition convex hull of set q of points is the smallest convex polygon p for which each point of q is either on the boundary of p or inside it, it looks confusing okay so but we will look with a figure okay so we have a set of points okay p0 p1 p2 p3 p4 till p18 okay so these are the set of points and from among them we will choose a subset of points such that when we make a polygon out of it which has minimum sides then all other points lies inside it and these points are on the polygon okay so this is the simple cute definition of convex hull so you have convex hull you have set of points so for example if we have these points and i ask you to make convex hull so it will be uh, basically i will try to make convex hull using the boundary uh, points okay so this is the convex hull of these points these set of points so now the thing is how we will do so we will use gram scan algorithm okay so before that let's try to solve the problem itself what we do is overall first okay let's read the algorithm little bit okay so that we will get some idea so let p0 be the point okay so it says that gram scan uh, is so what you do you are given points from p0 to pm so p0 be the point in that q set with the minimum y coordinate okay so we take a point with the minimum y coordinate and if you have multiple such points with minimum y coordinate break the tie with the left most of them okay so why we do how we do we will see all these then we are left with points p1 p2 till pm in the set q so we sort them by polar angle in counterclockwise order okay so we sort them in counterclockwise order based on the polar angle and we start from p0 okay so then what we do we maintain a stack okay now the stack top is zero then we push the first three points okay so now these points are sorted in the polar angle from p0 we push these three points then from i is equal to 3 to m what we do while the angle formed by the three points next to top of s top of s and the new point pi makes a non left turn so we what we do pop s so we keep on popping and only we push points okay and whatever are left so those are the points in or that set okay so let's see okay the convex hull set basically i forgot the name so let's try to see so what happens here is we have initially the points so we have p0 so what was polar angle so polar angle is basically if we have p0 these are some points p1 p2 and p3 so the polar angle is something like this so this is the polar angle okay theta 1 this is polar angle theta 2 and this one is polar angle theta 3 of course theta 3 is greater than theta 2 is greater than theta 1 okay so this is the case so this is the polar angle so now what we do we have sorted the points based on the polar angle so if you have p naught p1 p2 p3 so these are the points so you can see assume that okay this is the x-axis so p1 has the lowest polar angle then p2 then p3 then your p4 p5 p6 p12 has the highest polar angle okay so this is the case now so now the thing is what should we do okay so let's try to see what we do so i'm rubbing a few things so let's see so 
we now pop push into the stack okay so we push point p1 p2 okay and in fact let's see the algorithm so we pushed p0 p1 and p2 okay so let's p0 is also there and now what we do now it says so we have this we have pushed three lines okay then let's see what we do so now we have p0 p1 okay and this is the case now p1 p2 now it says that from i is equal to 3 to m when we push it so now whatever is inside so next to top top and pi which is then just now what point we are considering so if the angle formed by these is non left okay so let's try to see so now we are making angle if p1 p2 and p3 so this angle is what so this is making what turn so this is making a right turn okay so a non left turn basically okay then what we do so it means i can easily remove this from the convex hull point this cannot be the extreme point or the vertex of the convex hull because if we have this triangle here p0 p1 and p3 okay so you try to draw it with some different color very light color okay so if we draw triangle p0 p1 p3 then p2 will come inside so i will not want p2 to be there because it will make the convex polygon of larger number of edges so we will remove this point so we will pop it out from the queue so we pop p2 out and then what we do now so then we push p3 in so we have p0 p1 p3 in the stack then what we do again we see that now when we are having a turn so let's see again so top next to top top and the new line so next to top is p1 p3 is the top and then pi is p4 so this is now making what angle so they are also making so non left angle okay so this is so this is making a left angle isn't it it should have gone like this if it was going straight so we are moving left so this is fine the problem is when you are moving to the right okay so this is fine it should be on the convex hull till now it is fine next we have so this p4 gets on to the stack we push it then we move to p5 in the for loop so now this is making what turn so this is making a right turn so we will now what we do so we pop if it is making a right turn so pop s whatever was on the top so p4 was on the top we pop that out because it will not be on the convex hull so we have p4 removed so we go to p5 okay so p4 will not be there now we go to the next line that is p6 so again it is moving like this and we are making a left turn so p6 is also fine it will be on the so p5 was pushed on the stack p6 also because it's making a left turn we have it on the stack then what happens we consider now a p7 should it be there it's making a left turn so it should be there p8 so p7 should also be there on the stack p8 now so p8 is also moving like this so we are moving to the left it should be there on the stack so push it now it was going like this but p9 is making it a left turn so when you have a left turn so what you do so we will pop p8 okay so we pop p8 and then let's see so what happens now we have popped p8 so now whatever is on the top p6 p7 and p6 p7 it was going like this so we have p6 p7 p8 was there so p8 we have to so p7 and p9 so it is making a right again 
So this is also not fine because it's making a right turn P7, P9. So we pop P7 also out and then we have this line was going like this. So we are again making a left turn. So this time, so again, so this is fine now. So we are making a left turn. So P6, P9. So we have P6, P9. That is fine. Okay. So P6, P9 is fine. P7, P8 have been removed. So P9 we push on the stack. And then what happens? We have P10. So again, this line was going like this. So you don't have to turn right. Right is not allowed. So when I am going like this, I want to go to 10. P10 makes a right turn. It's not allowed. So pop P9. So we pop P9 out. And now what happens? You have then the P6. So P6 was going like this and we are making a left turn so p10 p6 is fine so we have p10 here now what happens is we are going to have p11 so p11 also i think is fine because you are going like this and make a left turn so p11 will also be pushed and then p12 so we are going like this and p12 so this is what so again we are making a right turn which is not allowed so p11 will be popped out so we will pop it out and then it will be basically like this and we have got the p12 so now our convex hull is this so i should rub out some of the useless lines that i have and we will get the convex hull Okay, so these points initially we thought they should be on the convex cell, but it was removed. And finally you have this. So we have P0, P1, then P3, then P5, then P10, P12. Okay, so these are the points we have. And this is now very important. So this is how you got the convex cell. Okay, so the basic idea is that okay we are always considering the orientation okay we whenever we are taking a point so we should consider that it's not moving to the right okay or straight line so that is there so this is the gram scan algorithm okay so now what we do is that and in fact what is there is i took this example from corman but the thing is that P5 I made slightly longer. So it was there in my case, but it's not there in case of Corman. Okay. So that's the thing. Now let's try to analyze the code. Okay. The time complexity. So gram scan the P0 is a point. We find the minimum Y coordinate. If there are N points finding minimum will take O of N time. So this is fine for line number one. <coughs> then let p1 p2 till pm be the remaining points in q sort them by polar angle so finding polar angle is also easy okay so that doesn't require much hard work it can be done in o1 time and then sorting of those n values can be done in o of n log of n time so sorting of those points that whatever we were considering p1 p2 p3 p4 all the angles wise so P1 is the angle here, P2 was this angle, P3 was little bigger than we had P4, P5 and so on. So they were increasing in increasing order. So that is fine. Top of S is again O of 1. This is push O of 1, all the three push operations. Then this is a for loop which runs from 3 to M. Okay, so M here, okay, so N I'm assuming. So it's basically O of N m is equal to n if you assume and then what happens is do while what is this taken by this while loop inside it okay so it's difficult to find for each one of them but we will do aggregate analysis okay so what is this if i don't know 
how many times it will run so we will try to see maximum how many this line while loop is doing basically pop isn't it so how many pops can happen in this one we are pushing the items only once isn't it so maximum so we will have n push operation operations and maximum pop then of course will be also n isn't it so and in fact if you see from the figure p0 and p1 will so they will never be popped out so so what will happen is you will have m the number of pops in this while loop will be less than equal to n minus 1 at least okay so this says that we will have o of n while loop here so this makes it so overall this will be o of n and we have this will be o of n log n algorithm okay so this says that okay so we what we learned that we first found the definition of convex cell what is a convex cell how we use gram scan algorithm to find the convex hull and then they find the time complexity of it so i hope you understand